about midway through the back nine. Wendy Ward still setting the pace at 14 under par, and Annika and Kari are coming. The Century 21 Fine Homes and Estates Move of the Month recognizes the LPGA. Annika sizing up her birdie try. Well, I mentioned that uh, she had worked with Dave Stockton this year. Um, side of five feet. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people can relate. Um, she struggled in that five foot um, range and in. Dave Stockton has helped her a lot. You can tell it by her performance this year and those five wins. Pretty stroke there. Yes, it was. Started the day at five under and that birdie putt now moves her to ten under par. And here is Teskey for her birdie. Just a little right to left swing in this putt. Slightly back uphill. Rachel remains at seven under par. Tap in. And just moments ago, back at the 14th, Lita for birdie. Well, Jeff, this was just the perfect putt if you could just make yourself hit it harder.
initial shot is just a very slight draw, just a little wrinkle from right to left. PGA Tournament here in New Albany, and who knows, maybe three the third time's a charm as Wendy Ward has the lead in the Wendy's. Every day, millions of people count on Williams to power their lives, to find, store, manage, and move almost every form of energy from wherever it is to wherever it's needed. Cleanly, reliably, and efficiently. So to all those millions of people who count on Williams, now you know who's leading energy solutions. Welcome back to the Wendy's Championship for Children in New Albany. Second round coverage here on ESPN2. Wendy Ward red hot with the putter. 15 under par at the moment. Started the day at 7 under par. Monica Sorenstam also having a pretty solid day herself. She's at the 11th. This is for birdie. Fairly straight putt. And earlier at the 15th, this is Lita Lindley. And this shot from 140 yards. 
control location on that right hand side you have to come over that bunker in order to get it close Lita was the leader after the first round. And this is live at 15 and Wendy Ward. Well, actually, Wendy got a little lucky off the tee. You know, she uh, took it up that right-hand side. Pretty aggressive play. Just 110 yards to the flag, but really not a lot of options here other than just take it under the trees. Play it maybe just to the right of Lindley's ball and uh, just kind of get it on and two putt and walk away. Settle. That one kind of hangs up there. That would have been better if it would have gone into the bunker. Now, Kari Webb. Chip for birdie, her second shot at the par 311th. Uh, you, your eye is seeing this shot um, in a very good way when you've removed the flag stick. Well, her eye saw it a little better than um, her hands felt the stroke because it uh, didn't really come close to pulling that chip. This is the 13th. Par five, fourth shot for Michelle McGann. That from 121, she hit her tee shot in the creek on the left that meanders through this entire hole, 13th to par five, and oh boy, she got lucky there that that didn't back up really into the water. She's got a long putt for par. And now back to the 11th, and Webb sizing up this putt for par. Same pre-shot routine, um, um, same motions and effort um, for a longer putt or a shorter putt, the cross-handed style. Solidly in the jar, she stays at seven under par. And Tracy Hansen now. her third shot at the 13th. She'll have that left for birdie. And ahead to 15. And Wendy Ward with her third shot here on this par four. Actually a pretty good lie. The difficulty with the shot here is that her feet are going to be well below the ball. And You know, I believe the tendency for most players, at least it was for me, is that you really don't get the solid hit that you kind of anticipate on this. It seemed like I always kind of hit it low on the club face and came up a little bit short. A better stance than it originally looked like. Good chip for her and the way her putter has been all day. Lacked her chances of saving par. And at 14, Rosie Jones to par three. This is for birdie. Tenth on the money list. She'll have that less for par. And uh, earlier she had a chance to talk to Mary Bryan. Well, Rosie, you're in the town where you went to school, Ohio State Buckeye you are. Does this give you any more incentive to win here in Columbus? Oh, sure, yeah. This would be fun to come back and win, you know, in front of some old fans and friends of Ohio State. That'd be, that'd be really cool for me. You've had two great victories this year. You were the first American to win in Austin, then you won in New York. Pretty satisfying season so far. Yeah, uh, actually, it's my first uh, double win season since 88, and um, it's been really fun. And I'm playing well enough. I feel like I can win another one before the year's out, and maybe two. And <laughs> that'd be fun, though. I've been playing really good. It's been fun for me. Well, how about your thoughts on this golf course? The scores were really low yesterday. Yeah, I was uh, right around on the ninth fairway when I looked at my caddy, and I said, you know, we really need to get some birdies here. And 
my next shot went in the hole, so I went from one under to three under in a hurry, and that kind of got my uh, uh, jump started my backside and made three more birdies to finish six under. So there's a lot of birdies out here. A lot of players are going to play good on this golf course. The greens are holding really well, so it, it enables you to just go right at the pin. And Rosie is eight under today, two under on a round, and Judy, a lot of players in this field that played golf uh, not too far away at Ohio State University. Uh, Kathy Gehring there at the top is actually Kathy Kratzert Gehring, um, Billy Kratzert's sister. Uh, she and husband Jim Gehring spent quite a few years at Muirfield Village. Uh, Jim was the director of golf. And here's Rosie now back at the 14th, this for par. No problem, she stays at eight under. ahead now to the 15th. This is Lindley for birdie. And coming across the green a little bit uphill right at the end. Safe for the two putt there for Lita. And the story here is still Wendy Ward started the day at seven under par. She has it to 15 under par and a solid lead. One of the many hazards on a golf course, just to make golf a little bit tougher, is a fairway bunker. But there's an easy way. at 16. Here's our leader. Well, with Wendy's length, she just has to absolutely be licking her chops on these par fives. It's a good looking drive. Needs to get a little lucky here. It's heading towards the left bunker. That's yeah, going to be all right, but maybe an awkward stance. Well, tonight ESPN kicks off its 15th season of NFL coverage. It's the Vikings and Randy Moss against Ricky Williams and the Saints. This is the first of four preseason games leading up to the Sunday night opener on September 19th. NFL Tonight starts at 7 Eastern. The game starts at 8. For more, you can log on to ESPN.com. And now to the 12th, Kari Webb in the fairway. Second shot at this tough par 4. It's up a little as well. Just it's coming green, in this angle. Pretty soft, too, so. And this angle we're starting to come in now, it's going to make it a little more right to left as okay. well. So if we just play it a little just like that at the moment. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Well, Corey Webb and her caddy um, are not mic'd, so that um, is congratulations to the audio department. Wonderful sound. And it takes you in the huddle there and gives you a chance to see how important the caddy actually is to Kari Webb. They see just a slight breeze from the right. Well played shot there just below the hole. And back to Lita, her tee shot at 16. Par five, pretty much a three shot hole for Lita. Actually, has been driving the ball very well, maybe a little bit longer to a different driver. A little less loft, trying to get a little more roll. You get 54 through at the left side there, like a tower. I don't know if I can hit this hard enough. I don't think you need to hit it real hard. I mean, it's going to tumble out of there. You just need to get it, you know, go. Monica getting set for her second shot now at the 12th. Ball appears to be right on the seam of the first cut of rough and the deeper rough. Um, the rough a big factor. You heard Terry uh, tell her that the ball is going to come tumbling out. So uh, look for this ball if she can uh, control um, the direction to land short of the green and maybe try to take a jump and run up onto the green. Tendency is always to turn it over from the rough. 
good, smart play. Ahead to 15 and Rosie Jones. This is her approach into this par four. Last year was Rosie's best financial year, $643,000. She is on track to do better than that this year already with $560,000 in the bank. That has her in the top 10 on the LPGA money list. And at 41 years of age, um, that's a pretty nice year. That is. Second shot now for Lita Lindley at the par 5 16th. Just trying to position herself so where she has a nice comfortable yardage for her approach to the screen. <laughs> Lita shot 29 yesterday on the front nine. Back now to Tracy Hansen. Par three, measuring 114, very little breeze blowing. Yep. And just let that one just move out to the right. Okay. A lot of the golf course here uh, cut through the trees and um, tree-lined holes, but as we come to the finish, as you come to 16, 17, and 18, um, it appears to be more uh, uh, rolling farmland, but uh, they are really not indicative of what uh, the majority of this golf course looks like to players. Wendy Ward getting ready for her second shot at the par 5 16th. Well, actually, I think she's going to have to wait for the, the group on the green to clear. That's 236 to the hole, 221 front. And again, now at the 14th, coming off a birdie at 13. Bogey at 13, actually, which dropped her to 11 under par. That's kind of the way her back nine has been. Makes a mistake and then comes right back and makes up for it. Wendy Ward now a four-shot lead over Michelle McGann. Lindley and Annika Sorenstam both at minus 10. Rosie Jones playing well at eight under par. its own soundtrack. Choose the one you want. DMX Music. The sound you want. When you want it. DMX Music. Another reason to get digital cable. You wish you'd come visit us. We have a new entrance, and you wouldn't believe the other changes. More Russell art, new galleries, and a larger museum shop. Don't miss the museum's preview of the Russell Catalog Resiné, works from Private Collector's Exhibit. This show is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see privately owned original Russell artworks on display through August 26th. Sorenstam and Kari Webb battle for the Wendy's Championship for Children. Then on ESPN Sunday Night Baseball, can the Mariners continue their record-setting pace as they host the White Sox? And on ESPN Classic, it's a Disney classic, The Love Bug. Do you have all the ESPN networks? Time now for the Shell Community Update. On behalf of Columbus Children's Hospital, I would like to thank Wendy's International. Because of their generous commitment, the proceeds from Wendy's Championship for Children at New Albany will benefit Columbus Children's Hospital in honor of Wendy's late CEO, Gordon Teeter. Gordon was a true friend of children's, and this contribution in his memory will advance cancer research efforts and also help make a life-saving difference for the more than 800 children currently being treated for cancer at children's. With your help, we're making a difference today and into the future.
This has been the Shell Community Update. Count on Shell to keep Wendy Ward now. Second shot at the par 5 16. Well, this is going to be quite a hit if she can get it there. A little bit into the wind, feet below. The ball tendency is to pull it. It's going towards the left bunker. And now Kari Webb, her birdie try at the 12. Well, we've seen putts from this direction um, on several occasions today. It just tries to slip off to the player's right. Kari tends to be a pretty aggressive putter. On a day where everybody seems to be going low, she's only two under on her round. <coughs> and she's going to have to settle for par there. And earlier, Annika with a very long birdie try. That's pretty good. She started the day at five under and remains now at 10 under par as we move to 14 and Tracy Hansen. This putt for birdie for back-to-back -back birdies from about, oh, about 19 feet. She'll stay at minus nine and here's Rosie Jones. A little different putting style for Rosie Jones. Um, always has the shaft of the putter very upright. Hands and arms carried very high. And harkens back to the uh, Arnold Palmer days when everyone putted with their toes turned in to try to keep their body still. Rosie stays at eight under par. And here's Lita. Well, this shot under 70 yards. Well, this ball's struggling in the wind. And that one comes up short. She'll have that for birdie. Before she teed off, she had a chance to talk to Bill Kratzer. Well, Lita, you, you had a change in your schedule. Uh, you withdrew from the Women's British Open and uh, went home and saw your teacher, and it certainly paid dividends. It did. It was unfortunate, the timing of it, that I had to withdraw from major championship, but I was in desperate need of a lesson, and sometimes you have to do what you have to do, and it certainly paid off. Now, you also switched drivers. You went from a 10.5 loft down to an 8.5. You seemed to be getting some distance that was needed. Yeah, you know, I hit my 10.5 well, but, you know, I wasn't getting a lot of roll in the fairways and only about seven paces of release, and with the 8.5, I'm just getting a lot more distance off the tee, and I think it helped yesterday. And here's our leaderboard with what they have done today. You can see Wendy Ward, eight under par. Annika Sorenstam at five under par. Vari Mackay with uh, the big round of the day. As she set a new tournament record, shooting a 63 at nine under. And Wendy Ward, not too far from that. And uh, as a matter of fact, she could equal that at the moment if she can get up and down here on 16. Well, this bunker shot, boy, was this cleverly played right here. Great judge of the pace, distance. And she can tap that in and go now to nine under par on the round. Michelle now with the birdie putt. See if she can make up for a bogey on the last yeah. hole. It's only a 10-footer. Oh, I thought I hit that pretty good, too. Yeah. Well, she said she thought she hit a good putt. I thought she did, too. So she drops a stroke, or excuse me, makes par here after dropping a stroke back at the 13th. And ahead now to the 16th, and Lindley. And underneath the hole, 30 feet. Going to move just a little bit to her right once it goes up the slope. Billy pressure on a player like Lita Lindley, who's not as long as uh, some of the top players in the field when she plays par fives. Uh, she really needs to make four the hard way. Well, she's been able to do it so far, Judy. She let this one slip by, but uh, you know, you got to tip your hat to to a, a lady like Lita who, you know, certainly doesn't have the length of a Wendy Ward or a Kari Webb or a Michelle McGann. No, uh, and she has uh, made the made the most of her abilities, really played well in the last couple of years. And remember, she made the commitment a couple of years ago to change her golf swing to try to add some distance. 
worked hard, uh, learned to create a little bit more club head speed at impact, um, actually worked on the speed of her golf swing, which is not something that you um, often see people tackle. Now Donna Andrews, this for birdie, trying to get back to one over for the day. Made those two double bogeys back to back, kind of kind of set her back to where really no chance to win the golf tournament, but a good round tomorrow. She can make a nice check, but can't let these par fives go by. We were talking in the practice day about her being mic'd, and I said, well, the idea is when you talk, I'm supposed to hush. And her caddy told me, you know, you could have just picked up a bag and been a looper this week, because that's our job. <laughs> <laughs> There's her caddy, Thane. Um, um, he got a laugh out of both of us. Don Andrews staying at four under par. And Lita, just about four feet, maybe just a little less than four feet. This, just try to save par here on 16. Try to remain at 10 under par. Nice soft hands on the grip. Right. Makes the putt. She remains tied with Annika Sorenstam now at 10 under. Shot a 29 on the front nine here yesterday. We've had a 60. couple of 30s today, but uh, that 29 uh, stands alone. It's kind of a gimme birdie there for Wendy Ward. That'll move her now to 16 under par. If you're not making birdies, you're losing ground to Wendy Ward. At 16 under, started the day at minus seven, and she's rolling and still has a couple of holes to play. ESPN2 second round coverage of the LPGA's Wendy's Championship for Children is brought to you by Wendy's Classic Hamburgers, it's Hamburger Bliss. By State Farm Insurance, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Ritz Crackers, the official snack of the LPGA, nothing fits like a Ritz. And by Sports Illustrated for Women, the only magazine for sports active women. Hi, Jimmy, your friends are here. Thank you. She actually got a pretty good break, that ball box. Well, right now, she has a perfect transition going from the backswing to the start of the downswing. And I mean, this is just hammered right down the center. And she would be one of those bigger hitters in every field. On pace to set a new tournament record for her round. If she just pars in, she will equal Vari Mackay in the 63. You can see Wendy Ward right now, minus nine on the day, 16 under for the tournament. Hasn't won since 1998, but zeroing in here on the Wendy's Championship. I guess the question is, can she finish it off and win tomorrow? Well, you can find out if you join us on ESPN. Our final round coverage starts at 2 o'clock. For more information, you can head to ESPN.com. Wendy Ward, the Wendy's Championship. Got a lot of Wendy's working there for her. Maybe uh, this is going to be her day. Following golf here on ESPN2, we'll have unlimited hydroplane racing. Unlimited birdies is what we have seen over the first couple of rounds here at the Wendy's Championship. I didn't pick up on that Wendy's and Wendy's thing. Uh, very nice, Jeff. Oh, we have a good researcher that sits over here.
though she's only 99 yards to the hole, it's not down in, in this rough. Doesn't hit a lot of fairways. She's 100th on the LPGA. Sit, 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 ball, down. Boy, sit. and you just just flew it right out of there. And I say she's 100th on the LPGA in fairways hit and regulation, and that's probably what cost her. And earlier, this was Lori Kane on 17. As Baena hit that shot in there, you could see Lori's ball. She'll have that left for birdie. And that was from 123 yards, nicely struck. And Lori making the walk up 17, and what a year it was for her here last year. And. Uh, what a great final round she played. She had to make up five shots on Shaney Waugh. And uh, she would come in and it would start for her on the 11th here at the final round. Par three. And almost gets the ace right there and taps that in for birdie. Now 13, the par five, this for par, and that kept her hopes alive. Now head to 16, the other par five on the back nine. This is her third shot. Lori runs that up there in pretty comfortable birdie range. And maybe the biggest putt on the back nine for at 18. This was for par to shoot 68 and force a playoff with Mi Hyun Kim. And that's exactly what she does. And for both these ladies, maybe playoffs aren't the best of things. Well, Lori went into this one um, 0 for 4 in her career. Mi Hyun Kim has been on the wrong side of two playoffs in this 2001 season. But this was last year. First playoff hole, the birdie putt for Lori Kane to pick up the second LPGA win of her career. She would get it. She would go on to win later in the year. She's also won this year, bringing her LPGA total to four wins. And after she won here last year, she just needed to survive that victory celebration. Lori Kane, the 2000 Wendy, Wendy's Championship for Children winner. And you can see Lita Lindley here, the morning tee time, shooting a 64. She's got the first round lead, but a lot of great players aren't too far behind her. And back now to Meg Mallon for birdie. This was earlier for Meg. Meg Mallon also.